For a couple of years now, we've been toying with the idea of creating a small arch in this wall and installing a stained glass panel. One of the potential problems was that before the house was extended in the 1980s, that wall used to be the outside cavity wall of the kitchen. I worked out that to provide for the required panel size, I would need to create a two bricks wide and eight bricks long orifice in each wall in just the right spot. An initial peep behind the plaster revealed an old electrical cable which had to be checked out and removed. Then I decided to remove one central brick to start with by drilling around its surrounding mortar. This allowed me to confirm which other bricks to remove, vertically and horizontally, to ensure the arch would be in the desired location. In order to provide a sound basis for the plasterer, I plan to construct a wooden frame of just the right proportions that would fit neatly into the opening. My joiner friend insisted on supplying the frame as he knew that I would agonise over the job for days. He delivered the frame the next day and advised me to use expanding foam to secure it in place. I had to blank off the cavity before using the foam. That worked really well and the excess foam could be trimmed back after it had finished expanding and hardened. The plasterer paid an initial call to size up the job. He requested some additional slats to help support the plasterboard in the curved top. He returned the next day to carry out the work. It was fascinating to see how he prepared the plasterboard for the curved part. all the way around so that one about there what about the I'll line this side up first and I'll line the other side right. with the help of the wooden frame the curved uh, plaster so was soon installed and held with all screws right. the same applied to the sides and the base Cutting and fitting the side shapes was not a problem and before long the corner bead was being stapled into place. Then the plastering began. It was satisfying to see the plaster gradually covering up the rough but strong skeleton of the arch. On the dining room side, the artexing had to be repaired. Once all the drying out was completed, I repainted both sides and we were ready for the final stage. The stained glass panel was constructed to our design by a local expert who delivered it on the wooden template that I had provided. He told me to keep it on the template while sliding it into position against the six pins that I had tapped into the sides of the arch. Then I applied decorator's cork around the periphery of the panel which held it securely and then I removed the pins. After restoring each room to its natural state we celebrated the completion of our project with a nice cup of tea.